because I value loyalty a little bit. You won't catch me having people force me not to be friends with them. If 6 9 ever done some snake shit to me, I will come out and be like, yo, this is why I'm not cool with them. But up front, I already say, listen, I'm not in line with everything he thinks. But at times when he's good to me or at times when he's putting out music, of course I'm going to show him support. I'm not a fake dude, bro. I'm just not a fake dude. Okay? And another thing I always tell these industry niggas is that all y'all niggas is super fucking fake. And I'm going to be honest with you. One thing that y'all could learn from 6 9 I want every rapper to learn this, is that, listen, that nigga, at least with bloggers, that nigga takes his time. I heard today he was playing, you know, um, Warzone with Domin's Live. Good. I like that. I, I, I want him to mend some relationships. Bro, a lot of rappers actually, like a nigga like me think, you heard how Meek talked to me on Clubhouse? That nigga talked to me like I was a dirt under a shoe. Bro, you can't have respect for a nigga like that. When in reality, you control his career. You could let, you could, your your narrative could make shit look like his lit form or not. How could you have respect for a nigga who's trying to act like you dirt? Are you crazy? No way. One of the things I'll give 6 9 credit for is that he always knew that new media is a thing that'll keep him lit. He talks to Shade Room. He fucks with me. He's... Uh, I think he's realized he got to fuck with these, this group of people. Meek be talking to people like he about to get people beat up and all that type of shit. Fuck no, nigga. As I said, I'm waiting for Meek to flop that he can learn a lesson, nigga. Facts. I'm waiting for him to flop. I can't even. I'm being honest. I can't even lie about my shit. I'm waiting for that nigga to flop. Nigga, I was too saying some DM and Drake like Drake. Bruh, I don't even know if you could be my favorite rapper no more if you get this nigga verse, bruh. This thing got a flop in peace. But Drake already gave it to him. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like how Meek treats the media, bro. I don't, yo, let me tell you this. Every, yo, I, 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 I told I told 6 9 that, like, he put up this post earlier. Today. I told him that there's no rapper above the media. I'm the nigga who I'll, I'll, I'll be the, I'll be the, the spokesperson for the media outlets. There's no artist above the media. Drake is not above the media. Cardi B ain't above the media. She just got cool back with, with, with the shade room. None of these artists are above the media. I'm telling you. If they isolate themselves from the media, you will look at their careers differently than you did before. Facts. I will stand on it. So 6 9 even hit, told me, he was like, yo, he cussed out like some, some I want to mention who in the meeting. And you know, I told him, I said, bro, I get it. You doing whatever, but I say, yo, stop cussing out these media outlets. Stop dissing them niggas. Because you might think, oh, well, you know, like I'm cool with Ack and Ack got a big, super big platform. Nigga, you need every platform right now, nigga. Your shit is blackballed. That's just the facts. Meek is a nigga who likes to shit on the media. That's why that nigga won't go too far. Meek be acting like Nicki in a lot of ways because he think he's too big. That's what I really, I don't like 6 ix 9 He was like, yo, I got more followers. And nigga, I could have 3 million followers and I got way more. I got, I got, I won't say as much influence as his page, but I think he got, was it 40 million or 30 million? I got, I got at least half the influence of 6 ix 9 page. I don't give a fuck. Some of these artists get a little bit big-headed. Y'all are not bigger than the media. Please stop it. And if you really meet, meant that, you, if Cardi meant that, Cardi did the shade room. She squashed it. I'm telling you. I hate when any artists try to go at the media. And that's one of my missions to show Meek. Meek Mill is my first example. Meek, without the media, nigga, you are nothing. You are a dumb nigga in Philly that just don't even know nothing, but you're a 34-year-old nigga trying to be 19. That's a fact. Meek going to be my first. You, you know how Meek say we'll make an example out of niggas? I'm going to make an example out of your sales boy. That's a fact. If y'all think Meek, let me tell you this. 
If y'all think Meek Mill's selling 250, what well, he sold, sold as him, 250? Meek, you ain't selling no 250. Courtesy of me, all right? I don't care if it's 244, <laughs> 230. I don't think you sell 200, low key. But still, respect the media, nigga. I'm over here. I'm going to ride for the media all day. A nigga like Meek, I don't know what these other media niggas been tolerating. Meek, you're not going to threaten to beat up no media niggas no more. I'm gonna I'm gonna make that example. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna threaten to beat up no more media niggas, pull up at their cribs. You ain't doing nothing, nigga. You an artist who needs the media to get your shit lit. Cause all y'all niggas got a four to five year shelf life. After that, y'all be dick riding to dick ride to dick ride more. Try to get other artists to fuck with y'all and hope the media hype your shit up. I could tell y'all all the rappers in my DMs, they're all there trying to get more lit. I don't give a fuck. Smoke perp, rich the kid, all them. They all DM me then then you shit now. When they was lit, you think they was DMing me? No. They were like, I can get it on my feet. But y'all niggas don't stay lit forever. So that's why I tell all y'all rappers, watch how y'all disrespect the media, especially me. Cause I never forget. I can't wait till y'all fall off. I can't wait. Cause when y'all fall off and y'all hit me with a DM, yo, act, yo, I drop this. I see it on my phone. I see it. All the I, I can owe my DMs right now. Hold on, let me let my shit out. Cause I'm gonna change the rules of this shit. These artists think we need them. I don't need y'all niggas, nigga. Whether it's spooky wooky today or it's spooky 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 like three years from now, I'm gonna be good. I cover whoever. <laughs> okay, what's it called? Robin with my beat box. Whatever the fuck that nigga is saying, I'm good. You wanna be you wanna be on some I used to pray for times like this type shit? That was 10 years ago, you bum ass nigga. I don't care who's popping. That's the thing I'm gonna tell you about the media. Let me tell you who, I'm gonna tell you right now. I ain't gonna lie. I'm mad destructive. I'm gonna tell you all the rappers in my DMs right now. Mm. RJ, you said what's goody? I ain't answer yet. Offset, offset, I'm gonna hit you. I love you, Offset. Who else? Rich the Kid. Who's this? Okay, that's a blog. God is great. My paper. Oh, that's Troy F. Uh, who the heck is this? Marnie Life? Who the heck? Is? No, that's Uzi. No, no. Uzi. Uh, Uzi. That's my. Uzi, I love it. Pause. I'm blowing a kiss to, to Uzi. That's cool. <laughs> um. I want to get through all this shit. <laughs> Yo, leave me alone, man. That's my guy. That's my guy. No, that's after Uzi sent that great message to me. I had to send him a message. I said, Uzi, I love you, brother. So he, 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 he did like the comment. Oh, Uzi, I love you. Don't pause me. Did that just say I'm sus? It's not sus. Anyway, it's not that serious. I never said Uzi does not need me. Uzi's lit. <laughs> Listen, Uzi one of them rappers who don't need me. Uzi in 2016, I, I think he needed me. Uzi 2021, fuck no. You know how lit Uzi is? I could tell you how the rappers who need me. All right, I'm, I'm going to go through. I'm going to show you all the rappers who. Okay, so I talked to Cardi B today. She don't need me. Cardi B don't need me. Uh, who else? Uh, RJ. Um, I don't. He probably wasn't even trying to ask me for shit, really. Offset. Does Offset need me? I don't think Offset needs me. Y'all think the Migos need me? No, I don't think so. I'm going to tell you. Rich the Kid. It's a rich Is this Young and Ace? Oh, this Young and Ace right here on my screen. Young and Ace needs me. Hold up. All right. I'm not... Like, I feel like y'all about to make this a clip and try to make it bad. Like, oh, ooh, academics says Uzi needs him. Uzi does not need me. Please don't ever get that confused. I'm going to start reading our names. Actually, some of these people I'll just be having a regular conversation with. Like, me and Drake talk. Like, Drake don't fucking need me. Y'all want to know what's going on with Drake's album? Anyway. Wait, let me see what song is this. Drake, uh, can you find a young and ace in the song? Now gang, 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 look, free the guys in the chain, gang, gang, finna go insane. 
Go see. 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 Go see.